Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about everything that I wish I knew going into college. I love doing these advice videos. I love giving you guys the advice that I wish I would have known to help you guys out. I'm actually doing two college advice videos. This one is more academics based. It's not necessarily being like a how to get good grades in college because I will be doing that video. This is kind of like how to adjust to the academics and course load and what will help you succeed in that academic realm, not necessarily like how to get really good grades on a test. I will be doing that though. I will be doing another college advice video kind of about like social things, other dorm life, things like that. Just random kind of all the things that I wish I would have known that don't have to do with classes. That is coming soon. I am also doing two giveaways right now. I'm doing an Instagram giveaway. It's a gift card giveaway. So if you guys want to go to my Instagram, check it out, enter. That'd be really cool. And then I'm doing a huge back to school giveaway on my YouTube channel. So I'll have that video linked down below if you guys want to check it out, see all the prizes. There's like a Steve Madden backpack, school supplies, makeup, a bunch of good stuff. So if you guys want to watch that, see the rules, see how to enter, link down below. And if you're going into high school, I have a ton of high school advice videos link down below. There's gonna be so many links down below. Let's get started with the tips. My first tip is to read the syllabus. When I was in high school, I just signed the thing. I was like, okay, here's my signature. I promise I won't cheat. In high school, the syllabus doesn't really have to do with much, but in college, it has to do with everything. There is every single piece of information you will ever need for the course on that one document. If you ask your professor any question, they will almost always say, check the syllabus. It's so annoying. Every single due date for every single assignment's on the syllabus. There's contact information. There's all the needed materials, textbooks, worksheets, all the websites. There's like everything on there. Why can't I think of anything else? Like their grading policy, their late work policy, absent policy, their grading scale. I recommend reading the syllabus before you even get into that class just so you have a feel for it. The first day of class will almost always be the professor going over the syllabus and just like explaining and answering any questions that you guys may have. I recommend taking all your syllabi. I think that's plural of syllabus. Syllabi. Taking all your syllabi, putting it together, going into a planner, writing out the due dates in your planner for every single assignment you will have throughout the entire semester in every single class. This will help you you make sure that you do not miss any assignments. Professors do not remind you you have assignments due. They do not have a whiteboard that says like on Friday one page essay is due. They don't have that. In high school they have that. That was something that I at first was like what like how am I supposed to remember? It's up to you. They have thousands of students. They can't care about you as an individual. That sounds horrible but like it's so true. They really don't care that much. I guess some do. Write down all your due dates and only use one planner. If you're going to use your phone use your phone but if you're going to use like a written planner use that and use that only just so you don't have half one place half the other place and then then it gets all confusing. If you miss little assignments here and there, it can actually tank your grade so much. Like doing the assignments don't really help your grade, but like not doing them is so bad for you. One thing that I think you guys should know is that you barely learn anything in your classes. Lectures are supplementary to your textbook. So all my professors are like, I expect you to read this, 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 and this chapter before you come in class. And then I'll lecture on the things that I think are important. But lectures are almost always professors ranting about some personal opinion that they have. You don't learn a ton in lectures. In smaller classes, kind of of, you learn more. Just keep in mind that your lecture is not all the course information. So when you take the test, if you only focus on lecture, if you only study the lecture material, you're not going to succeed. Another thing to know is that your grade is pretty much based on a few exams. Like let's say you have three exams or four exams. You have like a test, your midterm, another test, and then your final. There's not a ton of busy work in college. There is homework. There are readings. There are a ton of stuff, but they don't really add to your grade that much. Like they don't protect you if you get a C on a grade that you can still keep an A or a B. It doesn't really work like that. So you're tests are super important. Like I said, I will be doing a video about how to get good grades in college video coming soon. But one little like sprinkle of a tip in this video is that if you want to ace a test, you need to read the textbook. And it's like painful to think about that. Like I know it sounds horrible. And in that video, I'll have ways to make reading the textbook more engaging, less painful, take less time. Your tests are based on the textbook. They take questions exactly from the textbook and put them into the test. Like exact scenarios, exact wording. I cannot stress to you that these professors do not make these tests themselves they take it straight from the textbook. One thing that I will say about textbooks in college is that they're a lot easier to understand than ones in high school where there's really no big words, there's really no fluff. It's very like straight to the point. Here's what this is, here's an example of it, here's why, and now we're going on to another topic. I do not recommend getting your textbook before class starts. I recommend going to your first class, then seeing what the professor says, and then getting a textbook after. I know a ton of people that the second they get in the class, they get the syllabus, they buy their textbook before the class even starts. You will not use your textbook on the first day of class unless your professor emails you and be like have your textbook by this day we're gonna 
speak like we're not even gonna go over the syllabus I've never had that happen to me a lot of professors actually put the textbook in their syllabus because it's required to by the university but they don't actually use it it'll be in the syllabus and then you'll go in class and they'll be like actually like just don't buy it like don't waste your money like buy this instead I also don't recommend buying your books from the bookstore I did this personally and I just felt like I was like trapped into doing this my school tricks you into doing this I go to Arizona State University and they have books that are Arizona State University edition and then they'll have like bundles so they'll have like a book and a, like an online code because you have like a ton of e-codes online ebooks and like online websites that you have to pay for you have to pay to turn in your homework love college <laughs> no wonder everyone's broke they're too busy paying for their homework not even for someone to do it like just to turn it in I felt really pressured of buying books from the bookstore but if you guys have the opportunity and the chance to, like not have to do that I recommend checking out like Amazon or like slug book check they have discounted used books you can rent them you could buy them like I said I bought some for it and I ended up selling them if you do buy them I recommend selling them when you're done so you guys can make some money also another thing talking about textbooks do not bring them to class they're really heavy just avoid it leave it in your dorm leave it at home I never touch on my textbook unless I had test the next day if we're just being honest here my next tip is to explore your grading websites my school uses canvas and blackboard really confusing I hate that we use two like can we just pick one please like make up your mind like I'm indecisive too but like I think we can pick one grading website at my high school we had a grading website and then we had Google classroom and Google classroom had everything on it had all of our assignments had all of this it had all of that it had like the due dates it had every piece of information we needed and the grading website was just to get our grade but in college at least my college our grading websites have everything they have the syllabus they have all the links for all the websites that you'll be needing they'll have quizzes and tests they'll have all of your assignments they have everything it's kind of like the syllabus but like coursework syllabus everything's in there that's where the syllabus is housed when I was in college the professors kept being like blackboard you can get on blackboard do it on blackboard do it on blackboard you need to do this on blackboard and I was like I don't understand how to use blackboard like I'm so confused I'd recommend setting aside a couple hours before school starts and just figuring out how to use it figure out where is my syllabus where are these assignments how do I like check my grade how do I check this how do I find this link it took me a really long time to just understand the website the fact that all these things are on the website I was getting very frustrated at the beginning of the school year because I was like where are these assignments I have no idea where they are I have no idea where this test is but they were all on one website canvas is so much better than blackboard personal opinion I also recommend getting the apps on your phone and then letting it notify you like I said you will have a ton of ebooks links websites that you will be needing to use I recommend going into your browser and linking them in like your favorites page I know so many people that did not do this and I just like don't get it because they'd be complaining they're like oh my gosh I have like 20 websites for every single class it takes me so long to figure out like which one I need to use and find them like just link them they're super easy they're convenient they're right there and I feel like having them all displayed you're like oh yeah I do have this assignment let me click that this is such a big tip for me and I really hope that you guys do this it has helped me stay focused so much and honestly I really feel like it helped me improve my grade because I wasn't distracted and it is to have a separate user for your account on your laptop my laptop right here you can have different users so I have a user for my YouTube slash personal account and then I have a school account and on my school account I don't have anything logged into unless it's school related I have my school email I have all my school accounts I'm not logged into Netflix I do not have my text messages on that account I don't have my iTunes I don't have my Instagram my Facebook or I don't use Facebook I'm not like 60 years old when you're sitting in lectures all you see is like girls online shopping and like people texting on their laptop pretending like they're writing notes and it's so easy to get distracted especially when like the professor cannot see you they cannot check up on you and seeing what you're doing and a lot of people just are there for attendance and they're not really there to engage that was something that really helped me make sure that I was engaged in the material and the lecture it also helped me decide when I am done studying because if I logged out of that account I'd be like okay I'm done for right now I'm done for the day I'm done doing this I'm okay with completing my work I like to multitask and sometimes multitasking for me can be like watching Netflix while writing an essay and that kind of turns more into like me watching Netflix but having the essay page open it just never really worked out for me so if I was doing something I was 100% doing it I did not have any distractions I was fully committed I was like I'm doing this until I'm done that I'm logging out and then watching Netflix one thing that you guys should know is that almost all classes are point based systems this means that a class is out of a thousand points and if an assignment is 20 points and you get 18 points out of 20 you now have like eight 18 points out of a thousand you know what I mean everything is point based it's not weighted tests typically do have more points so I guess it is weighted in a way when classes are point based system you will always hear the professor say <clears throat> let me just like get ready for this I can like quote it word for word I do not give you your grade you earn your grade and that is like their tool to like not let you round their grade I had a class 
<sighs> I'm gonna get angry about this because this was like a TA. This wasn't even a professor. It was like someone who's like trying to earn respect, but like she did not have mine because she was very rude. I was one point away from having an A, one individual single point. And I emailed her and asked her, just like I thought, why not? Let's try it. And she goes, maybe you should work harder next time. I was one individual point away and I'm actually really mad because I deserve that point, but she marked me off for something that she did not mark the person off next to me. Shouldn't have been marked off, but like whatever. I'm still angry about it in all honesty. So you cannot depend on emailing the professor at the end of the semester and being like, can you run my grade? Because they will almost always say that you earned your grade. One thing that I think you guys should keep in mind is that almost all 100 level classes, 100 level classes are the base classes that freshmen typically take. Also some 200 classes and 300 classes have review sessions. Like my math, my econ, my other classes that I can't think of right now because I'm in summer mode. They all had review sessions and they all had their TAs put together like a little lecture, go over all the important things, all the things that they think that you should know for the test. Sometimes they give you like exact questions on the test, very rare. For math, a lot of the times they will give you the exact question just with different numbers so you can practice it, do it with you, show you how to do it, answer any questions. It's super helpful. 100% recommend going to them, taking as many notes and pictures that you possibly can. That is the closest thing you'll get to like knowing what's on the test. My last tip is to use your calendar app, whether it's like Apple Calendar or like Google Calendar. I really recommend getting a calendar app on your phone and using it religiously, color coding it. I'm a very organized person as we probably know on this channel. I I use my calendar religiously for like YouTube and personal things. In college, I realized how important it was because you are so busy. If you're in a sorority, if you're in a club, if you're taking like XYZ classes, you have a lot going on. You don't want to double book. You don't want to say like, I'm going to go to this review session and then you have a club thing. You don't want to make plans with a friend, but then you have this class. I put my classes in my calendar. I put all my personal events. I put all my sorority events, all my club events, my nose itches. Before I make any plans or any decisions, I check my calendar just to make sure that I don't have plans. You have a lot going on and you can forget things. So if you put it in your calendar right when it happens, you won't double book and it would make you a little bit like more stress free. I hope you guys like this video. Again, I will be doing a video about how to get good grades and I also will be doing another advice video kind of about like social, dorm, etc. So definitely check those out and enter my two giveaways if you guys haven't already. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.